Hey, good morning guys. Brian here. Uh, I'm truck camping right now in Colorado and it's a beautiful morning, but we've got some snow on the way and it's the storm is starting to kind of come into the valley a little bit. So I'm going to make this a real short video and then I'm going to pack up camp and get rolling. So today what I want to talk about just real briefly is the electronics that I carry while I'm out truck camping. And these electronics cover anywhere from work to entertainment to lighting, I mean, you name it. So um, I always tell people that it's important to have your own independent power source while you're out doing this. A lot of people use solar, but that's an expensive investment. A uh, cheaper solution is to use an inverter. And I have a 400 watt inverter that's located in the back of my truck right here. And then I attach a power cord to it, like a 220 outlet power cord. And I've got my computer charging cord that comes off here. Uh, I'll recharge some batteries for my for my uh, headlamp, and then I've also got plugs for USB, any sort of USB charging that I need. So that takes care of the charging needs. As far as lighting goes, uh, Lucy Outdoor makes these really awesome lanterns that are that are that are charged up via solar. So you just put this in your dash all day when you're driving around or just out in the sun while you're at camp. It'll charge up, and then you've got light all night, which is real nice. So I use that for uh, light around camp. And then for my personal light, I use a black diamond headlamp. These are real simple. I mean, these are, these are great. It's just directional lighting. So when you put it on your head and you're at camp, wherever you look is lit up due to the, the light that's on here for the headlamp. And then this just takes four AA batteries, which is what's in here. So I've always got fresh ones charged when I roll up at camp and I'm good to go. So that's my lighting solution. Uh, as far as entertainment goes around camp, I've got this Goal Zero, uh, it's a boom box, but it's also charged up with the solar panel on the back. And this thing works great, it's, it's really durable, I've dropped it a number of times, it's never broken on me. Uh, you can charge it up to about halfway, and it's got a little meter on the back with these little lights that will tell you like how far it's being charged up. So if you have it charged up about halfway, you got about four hours of playtime of music, continuous. And then if you're listening to podcasts, you probably got anywhere from six to seven hours of playtime available. So I just charge this up each morning and the afternoon while I'm driving around, I'll put it in the dash. Or if I'm at camp, then I'll angle it towards the sun so it gets the maximum amount of sunlight hitting the solar panel here, and then, then you're good to go at night. Uh, it's got these little plugs in here, like a little jack. You can you can plug it into an iPhone or an iPad or iPod, whatever, or your computer, and you can play tunes. Or you can connect it via Bluetooth, but the Bluetooth takes up more energy. So I always just connect with the cord, and you're good to go with that. There's also a USB charging option on here. Uh, it's this cord, but I accidentally broke off the end of the USB uh, charger thing, which is just right here doesn't really matter because the sun, as long as you have sunlight throughout the day, you can charge this up and you're good to go. But it's just nice to know you have that option if it's, you know, if it's available. So there's that. And then here's the really nice thing at camp. This is a mini HD DLP projector. And you can just plug this in with a HDMI cable. And then I've got the hookup for that to plug into my computer. And then you can watch movies at camp and you can plug in that uh, goal zero boombox to it and then you've got tunes as well so you can have like I've got my side awning which if I'm not using it I can just I, I can deploy it but not put it up just have it lay down on the side of my truck and then I can use that as like a, a film screen or you know to project the movies onto so that's that's a lot of fun so that and then uh, obviously I've got my my MacBook computer and then that just charges up like I said with the with the inverter here so while I'm driving I just usually set that up there and then I'll hook up the, the cord to it to charge it up. And then the last thing that I use for, for communication while I'm at camp is I use a, a GPS. This is the DeLorme InReach Explorer. This thing's awesome. It's uh, I got it about, let's see, I think about four months ago. They came out with a new version because Garmin and DeLorme merged. I guess Garmin kind of acquired DeLorme. And so they've got an InReach Explorer Plus now, which it's just basically a redesign of this, but the features are still the same. And the main feature that I like about this is that it's got a two-way texting capability and it's custom texting. Like, like the Spot GPS, which a lot of people are familiar with, that one's nice, but all the messages that you can send to people are preset and there's only four of them that you can preset before you before you know you, you leave your, your house or whatever. And you preset those on the computer through their website before you head out. This is to where you can text whatever you want. It's just a limited to 160 characters per text message. And you can you can use the Bluetooth feature, excuse me, the Bluetooth feature on this 
to sync up with any smartphone, and then you can access the contacts on that phone to text anybody you'd like. There's a little bit of a security feature to where you have to text the person first in order to establish communication. And the reason for that is it goes to the satellites and when, it, when the text message reaches someone, at the bottom of the message it'll have a little link. And you click on that link and it shows your exact location. So it's somewhat of a security you know, issue if you just had that number out to anybody and they could text you and be like, hey Brian, he'd be like, hey, who's this? And all of a sudden, you know, when you text back, it would give away your, your location, which you may not want to do. So that's a little bit of a security feature with it. Um, another nice thing about this is you've got tracking. So when you're out running around, you can hit the tracking button and you, it'll follow you and, you know, create a map of wherever you're going. Then you can download that and import it into like a website if you want to use it in a blog. Uh, it's got the search and rescue capability as well. You just hit the SOS button and they'll come get you. A little bit expensive if that happens, so you want to avoid <laughs> any search and rescue attempts to come and get you out. But it's nice to know you have that feature just in case. And, you know, for those of us who spend a lot of time off grid or out of the cell phone network, uh, this is great to have because then you can stay in touch with family and friends no matter where you're at. I mean, it's, I think that they've got coverage on like 99% of the planet for this product. So the GPS is really good. I've never had a problem connecting to the satellites, even with a limited sky view. If I'm in a canyon, I can still connect. And that's what I use to communicate with everyone. And it works really well. So that's what I use for electronics while I'm at camp. Obviously, I have a camera as well with a tripod. And that's the extent of my electronics. I, I, I kind of travel light with that stuff. But what's nice is, is everything that I have covers everything that I need. So it's not like I need to add a bunch more stuff to it and carry a bunch of gear that's unnecessary. So that's my electronics setup, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks.